lot of boat. All right, you think I'm going to get it in there, Zach? I don't know, man. It's a lot of boat. It is a lot of boat, for sure. Oh, by the way, can I Do you want the fish borrow, your, can I borrow your GoPro? The fish finder, I didn't even think of that. That would be pretty sweet. Because you've got that side imaging and... Yeah. Okay. I haven't played with that. There's so many new toys to play with today. Hopefully it puts me on a muskie. <laughs> this is going to be sweet. So it already catches fish, right? It sure does. Yeah. You got a nice laker. 30 inch uh, pike and, uh, and a nice little, I don't know how big the, the, the laker was, but probably 18 inches or so. That's awesome. Perfect little eater. It was delicious. No problem. Away, ben. I think that rope will hold it. Hope so. All right, here we go. Off to the big waters. Uh oh. My dad warned me this would happen. There we go. So many new toys fish finder, electronics, new kayak. Just borrowing it, by the way. This isn't mine. Don't own this. I can't believe I'm taking a NAR onto Lake Ontario. My goal is to fish till sundown, see if I can do it. I'm gonna have to be conservative with the battery a little bit, but it should take me, it should take me the whole distance. With us today, we got Superman and Lois Lane, Hula Girl. It's a hot one today, oh boy. I think I even got some sweat on the lens there. Well, just about hooked up. Just gotta get the motor hooked up to the battery. Everything else is just about done. It's quite the load here. Well, I'm learning a lot about this Torquedo, like what it takes to actually set it up and get it going. So I'm gonna fill you in on my thoughts on this at the end of the day, tell you whether or not I think it's really worth it. I'm glad that got on camera. <laughs> oh, it's soaked. So the kayak continued to pull me into the water <laughs> as I went in and I tried to stop and it's all algae here. So this isn't my GoPro. Don't know the settings on it. It's a Hero 10, I haven't used a Hero 10. There's so many things that are just putting a little bit of hindrance on the day, making it a little bit more challenging for me. We'll get out there and have a good time in it. the rig to try and figure out and my feet are cramping honestly i like don't know how long i can do this i feel like i need something to like support my feet so that i don't have to like do it with just my toes i'm like, trying to do it with my tippy toes here if i'm honest i'm a little nervous to make this crossing i mean you can see how much the big boats are kind of rocking in it maybe you can't see that so i'm going about 5.3 kilometers an hour and with the amount of charge i have and how much energy it's taken me to go into the wind uh i could go about 20 kilometers at this pace if i were to maintain that speed in the wind direction the entire time so that's pretty good i still have quite a distance to go because i won't be going into the wind the whole time and right now i'm just trolling a huge six ounce uh spinnerbait big huge black musky spinnerbait yeah and i got one hand free my other hand is actually on the musky rod This is really wavy. I've never been in <laughs> this wavy of stuff before in a kayak. I mean, I've been in this in a boat before and thought there's no way I'd be in a kayak in this, but this NAR handles it well. I mean, I'm being thrown around. Sometimes I'm like, whoa, and like gotta hold on. But you know, I, the boat doesn't feel like it's gonna go over. Just, I need a seat belt. That's what I need. No, totally unsafe. I know, I know, I know. So where I wanted to go, it's a little bit much for what I'm feeling like today. Maybe if I wasn't solo. So we're gonna play it, play it safe. I'm gonna try trolling at a different depth though. I'm trying to get up to this break here. Oops, that's, I forgot it's touch screen. So I'm just coming up to this break. I'm gonna try this line again. We'll see what's there. So how I get back? Okay. I don't really know how to read this. I mean, for all I know, that could be like, hey, there's tons of fish here, Ben. You're just not catching anything. You're just not that great at fishing, which is legit, but I just don't know how to read this. It's fun motoring around in this, but I really I came out here to catch fish. We're going for it. Here we go. We're really doing it, Harry. Well, it took me a little bit, but I built up the courage and I'm making the crossing. Being in a small watercraft out here with all these other boats that are just zipping around in this kind of waves. I just don't know how the boat's gonna react. I don't know how it's gonna feel. I've got lots of gear with me, which is expensive. Not to mention what I'm paddling and I'm in is expensive. So just taking my precautions, you know? Risk assessment determined it was worth it. 
Okay, so I'm approaching this like steep break here and I'm gonna cruise around these islands and see uh, if I can see anything on side imaging. No wonder it's so windy. I got all these fans pointed right at me. I absolutely love that I could just cover so much water. I just went to places that I've been dreaming of hitting in the kayak, but it's just too far of a distance and it's like big open water. So the NAR handled that those big waves beautifully. That was wonderful, that was sweet. And then having the torpedo to just get me there uh, without any issues was awesome. Absolutely love that. For all the obvious reasons, it's clear the torpedo's pretty sweet. For the stuff that's not a little, that's not as obvious, that doesn't jump out right away. But I figured I, I should let you know just so you know what you're kind of signing up for. And also what to consider when you're kind of setting it up or considering the kayak that it's gonna be going on. For First thing is the foot rudder. Now you can get the hand rudder, which is pretty sweet too. The foot rudder is nice, being completely hands-free to just control the throttle. Like that's awesome. I totally love that. I just don't like on this design how high they are. So I'm like reaching with my tippy toes. I feel like I'm gonna have my like shin splints or whatever tomorrow morning. Um, yeah, so I mean, I think it's just a comfort thing and like raising your feet up. If I had like a little block here, I think that would be better. So really, it just took me some fine tuning. It took me a bit of getting used to and like I would do some more tweaks if this was my kayak. So it's that's pretty minor. If you plan on coming out, I, I would just give myself a little bit more time to be on the water, a little bit more time to prepare to get on the water. It takes a bit more to get the motor and everything set up on here, but that little bit of time that you spend prepping, you make up for on the water, that's for sure. I got to places that I would not have been able to get to if I saved that little bit of time at shore of not setting this up and then just hit the water. It's not like I would have seen it, seen much more, so. Isn't that sky nice? Yeah, I think it's just, just prepare. Understand what you're dealing with. Just understand that your first time out with the Torquedo, you're gonna have some tweaks. Not everything is gonna be perfect the first time you get out there. All in all, I think it's incredible if you can afford it and you don't mind that little bit of extra work to get on the water, then for sure. If you enjoy the simple things in life, stick to paddling. But if you want something that's pretty sweet and uh, gets you around quick, I definitely check out the Torquedo and the NAR for big water. Now that I've done that crossing, I'll do that in my U-Pick. I'll do that in my paddle kayak probably when the weather's just right. And uh, also I would have tackled that a lot sooner in this kayak had I, had I have known how well this was gonna handle the big water. Anyways, I hope you liked that video. If you did hit that like button, subscribe to see more and we'll catch you later. Mm, stop by this great little hamburger joint. It's a little mom and pa shop. You know, get a couple burgers for, for when I'm out here. It's called Allen and Wright's. It's not half bad. Apparently there's, there's grass in this beef or something. I don't know.